playing Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this beautiful Thursday at 712. Good to see you. Ed Craig, good to see you. John, everybody. Look at that. Fran, Emily, George, Tom, goody good. Mario, Kathleen, Don. All right, lead everyone. Let's get ready to go enjoy a beautiful day here in New York. Nice and comfortable, not too hot. Hopefully it's nice in your neck of the woods. Hope you guys are enjoying summer. All right. Anyway, uh, I thought we were going to cut out early yesterday, but it looks like the Hoya did unbelievable yesterday for us. Everyone killed it on that Hoya trade, and it's still on a big move. You know, um, the IQ didn't follow too much uh, versus the Hoya, but let me tell you, some of you guys killed it, killed it on that uh, in that market. I'm going to talk a little bit about it. Uh, first of all, a couple of people did really, really well on that trade. Um, I mean, I don't even know where to start, but tons of people did great. I mean, George G crushed it on that. I think he made $5 total over it on yesterday. Oh my God, let's give him a round of applause. That's a big, big win right there. Andrea did pretty well on it. He made about three sixty. dollars um, You know, I know Josh did great on it. I did great on it. Everybody did great on that trade. And you know what? Even Nancy, you know, let me let me tell you, Nancy made 47 cents on it. And let me tell you one, guys, let me tell you. The stock went from 31 to 37, right? Great traders never buy at the bottom and never sell at the top. You always buy in between. Because you could trade a stock like, I don't know, I'm just gonna pick something out of had GE, right? And oh, but it's GE, good brand name stock, whatever it is. What did it do all day? I mean, it, it, Buy this to bomb, sell top. Great traders always buy in between, and that's what matters. So, as long as you got a piece of it, that's all that matters. Because there's some people out there sitting there watching, still analyzing, still trying to figure out what's going on. And even the market being down, you killed it on that trade. So, congratulations, to everyone. That was really the big winner that I really wanted to talk about. Uh, there were a couple other ones that did pretty well. The B, the the BI, the BIOC did pretty well. Let's bring some of them up. That one uh, had a really beautiful pop in the middle of the day. Uh, Hoyer was a little bit on the faster side, but that one was pretty good. OPK was another one that we traded yesterday. Uh, nice little push. I actually still like this one going into this morning too, the OPK. I'm gonna throw that back on the watch list. Uh, just like the Hoya trade, I'm gonna throw back on there. Fast, had a nice little pop in the middle of the day, a little bit more on the expensive side. That was another one, and M-Y-O-S. We trade that so many times. Uh, that one was great in the pre-market. That one just ran from like a buck 60 to 240. So a lot of 30, 50, 100% winners yesterday, as usual. But once again, that isn't the past. Okay, we're gonna throw that in the archives. Now we're gonna focus on what's going on this morning. And you know it is, you know, like I said, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are hump days. So those are the days that you have to really focus on. So today's Thursday. You know, Fridays have been been pretty good for us, but we saw how things work out on Mondays. And I know for all you traders, uh, I know we have a lot of new um, people that have just joined us just recently and doing the trial and see what how different it is when you come from a free webinar that we do where I just spark interest and you, some of you watching me on YouTube or Facebook and watching these morning videos and like, well, how do you get a piece of these? Listen, you know what? We had Hoya on our, on our position yesterday. And when I was talking about yesterday, I thought like the ETFs would have been great. You know, the UV, the, the U, the VXX, the, the, the UVXYs, but sure enough, that really wasn't it. It was all about you know, a total new list of stocks that come out. So that's why you have to be in the room. Things always change. You know what I mean? I didn't have the 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 B the, the, the BIOC that showed up in the middle of the day. The OPK that showed up in the middle of the day. You know, but Hoya, you know, like I said, the list I'm gonna give you right now, guys, just remember not all of them are gonna move. There's always a new list that will show up, you know, so we do pretty well in the pre-market. And then obviously there's always new and whatever we had, sometimes they, they work out, sometimes they don't. You know, there's always a new list that comes out. So that's why you gotta be in the room and hope you guys are enjoying it. So anyway, let's go through some of the things that are moving. Uh, Gene is saying um, he's he made, there's an iceberg order in CNTF right there. And uh, he said there's a 50,000 share um, iceberg order. I don't know where you're seeing that. 
I mean, all the way up here, I see 25. I don't know what price you're seeing that right now. Uh, maybe he left. I don't know where you saw that. I don't know if I caught that a little bit later. At 390, yeah, he's not there anymore. He must have pulled his order. But, uh, but that one I do have on my watch list, okay? That one I do have on my watch list. I'm going to keep an eye on that one also. All right, another one uh, that I want to keep an eye on is the we got the o, we got the OPK. We're gonna throw that back on the watch list because you know that had a really nice push. Uh, the CFT, the CNTF we have on there, the Hoya. We're gonna throw that back on the watch list. You know, Hoya took a big, big hit, made a little bit of a comeback. IQ basically followed side by side with it. Okay, uh, remember I was a big fan of IQ. I love the company, but I'm not ready yet to, you know, as more of a swing trade, you know, looking at it. But overall, as a day trade, let me tell you, these things are damn pretty volatile. So you got to be careful on those. IZEA was another one that came in on my watch list. Um, this stock just took a huge gap up and it came back down a lot, which you could see right there. Listen, if it starts building some support, I might consider it. But 1.8 million shares are traded. That is a lot right there. So, um... But she did make a big, big, big reversal so far, uh, basically testing major resistance levels right around here. And that's probably why it backed off. But let's see how it goes. A lot of iceberg orders. Look at this. 6,000, 1,800, you know, a couple of hundreds here and there. So iceberg orders tell you where the things are going. That's why you need to have that matrix there on the right. By the way, today, big announcement at 430, I am going to be on TradeStation so if you have a TradeStation account, um, I'm going to be doing an event exclusively on the the um, on the uh, matrix. All right. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. That's at 4:30, and we have open house today uh, for everyone all over the internet um, at 12 o'clock. Remember, it's our typical Thursday. So we got that one. FPI. Let me, let me go back to the watch list. FPI is another one. Uh, stock got destroyed. Now, the reason why I like this stock, it's probably making a little bit of a comeback, you know, a little bottom fishing going on. You know, it was always a bottom fish type of guy. Uh, and stock was at nine. I mean, it wasn't down humongous, but it is coming back a little bit. So, you know, and, and it did it in the after hours too. You could see it how it dropped all the way down to 525 and came back to always 650. I do like that one also. I want to keep an eye on that one. And then um, the BIOC, this is pretty great. So this stock, you could see whatever goes up must come down. Unfortunately, you can't short. It's not on my short list. But uh, you could see how you had such a big winner for a stock that goes from four to eight. And then you're wondering, why is it down? Remember, this is day trading, not swing trading. Uh, Grant says, busy day for me today. Yes, it is a very, very busy day. Uh, Thursdays and Fridays are always my busiest days. So, uh, But what it is is, listen, you know, great traders never stop teaching. And, you know, I love doing it. You know, I got a passion to do it. I hate seeing people lose money. And I'd rather you know the truth because it's not for everyone. It should, It is for everyone, but unfortunately it's not. And that's okay. <laughs> so that's why, you know, I'd rather go out there and kind of educate everyone a little bit more if this is for them or not. But I'm always looking to recruit traders to be part of the team. And, um, but once again, it's, you know, we're always going to have to talk about it and make sure that it's right for you because you're not right for the team. You're not, we're not, we, you know, we can't have you in here. Because, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it, it's, you know, it, you could lose a lot of money doing it. And you got to be really careful. All right. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight six, seven stocks. I'm, I'm not gluing the BI, BIOC onto that list. I just want to talk about that short. But we got six, we got, a, we got seven stocks on this list. Now, remember, everyone, not every stock is going to make a big move. Um, oh, the NTRA. Yeah, I've got the, I, th I didn't throw that one on there. NTRA, yeah, that was the other one. Uh, but you know, it's funny, but she tanked. She went up and she tanked all of a sudden. The uh, This has been a little bit more of an a, a, a interesting swing trade, more than anything, Ken. I know some of us, we saw it in the pre-market, but um, but when we saw it take off, now look at it, backed right off. Very, very scary, moving, fast-moving stock. i to be careful about that. And then don't forget the BJ's, guys. BJ's made a little bit of a comeback. Um DJ's doing pretty well, so hopefully we're all doing pretty good on that swing trade. You can see it's gapped up pretty nicely so far. Uh, that one I also forgot to mention too, uh, our BJ's trade uh, is one of my new IPO favorites, and I got that on the swing trade, so doing pretty well on that one. Had a little nasty shake uh, not too long ago, but 
came back pretty nicely. I still think it's positive. All right. So I'm going to throw that back on the watch list too. BJ's. So for everyone here, listen, remember, busy day. We got uh, we got open house on 12 o'clock Eastern, and then we got uh, Trade Station, uh, on Trade Station at uh, 4.30, and then we got all day to make money to do it, all right? And then uh, next week, we start the new cycle of the courses. So once again, the more you learn, the faster you learn, the faster you learn, the more money you're going to make, and that's what it's all about. All right, guys, listen, good luck today. I'll see you back at 12 o'clock uh, for the uh, for open house, all right? And then we got the 2.30 meeting. Uh, right after that, going into the close. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading.